Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a wax video. However, however, I do have a couple things that I want to say really quick before the uh, video starts. Firstly, this channel is going to get a major overhaul here coming up in the next couple weeks. Um, things that you guys have been asking me for that I just have not had time to, I now am going to have more time to. Um, really awesome stuff. So if you are somebody who loves my channel for the beauty that you haven't seen in a while, stay tuned. If you're somebody that loves the wax videos, stay tuned. And if you're somebody that really loves my lifestyle, um, homesteading, canning, uh, having a lot of kids, dogs, stay tuned because my channel is going to encompass all of those things and I'm super, super excited to get started with it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna dive right into this video. Uh, what I am drinking today, I thought I should mention, no, this is obviously not my mug, last I checked. But <laughs> um, this is by the Tazo brand of tea and it is the Elderberry Blackberry. This is a really good transitional uh, tea if you are still not wanting to let go of summer but you are ready for fall, which is where I'm at right now. It has been a beautiful like 75, 70-ish weather um, lately and I'm just obsessed with it. I love fall but I also don't like the cold so this is perfect. <laughs> I'm itching to decorate though you guys as you can see some stuff is starting to peek its little face in um, for fall and I am ready to decorate so that being said let's dive right into the video these are things that I emptied only not things that I used and did not empty because I just would have way too much if I did it the other way um, so these are just purely empties the first thing I finally finished up is this Yankee Candle Bermuda Beach. This was a two wick tumbler. You guys, this lasted for freaking ever. Like I burned this every day for probably three weeks all day long. And it was a really, really bad performer. It smells great. It smells just like Yankee Candle Pink Sands. I actually think it might be Pink Sands. Um, but I mean, as you can see, it, it burned okay, but the wicks were super puny and it didn't throw whatsoever. So it was more for ambiance than anything. And I would not repurchase any of the Yankees, unfortunately. Yankee has never performed well for me, but it is what it is. Um, okay, let me see. I don't know where to stack all these right now. Um, another candle I finished up in the bathroom. This is the Scentworks Island Orchid. This one, um, let's see, White Orchid, Wild Orchid, Gardenia, Jasmine, Pink Sugar. This one actually was really good in my bathroom. Scentworks doesn't perform all that well, so I'm not gonna repurchase any of them, um, but it was good for the bathroom, the really small room, it did okay. Um, burned fine, great burn, not a problem at all. It smelled like a nice floral, um, yeah, wouldn't repurchase it. Like I said, they don't perform very well, so not worth it to me. Um, I did finally finish off this Cucumber and Lily Bath and Body Works candle. I love the packaging on this. This one was atrocious for burns. It just did not want to stay lit. Um, I always had one of the wicks go out while the other one stayed lit. It, it's just a mess. Uh, the notes on this one are fresh cucumber green tea, Lily of the Valley. I get the Lily more than anything in here. I did like it, but like I said, it doesn't, it did not perform at all the way I would want it to, especially in a small bathroom. Oh, I guess it's not true. It's a large bathroom, but either way, it's a bathroom nonetheless. All right, then I went through Scentworks Blue Tide. I love this packaging. This is one of the very few I'm going to save and use. Um, I usually try to get rid of my clutter, my jars, but this one I'm going to save. It's absolutely stunning. So Blue Tide uh, is also from Scentworks, and it is Blue Water Mist, Water Lily, Bamboo, Bleached Woods. This was good. Um, it was almost like a laundry scent. It smelled very, like, soapy clean. Um, I did like it. I, like I said, I wouldn't repurchase it, but this one actually performed really well when you let it burn for a while. It's not one that you would light and 10 minutes later you could smell it, but um, it was okay. Oh, sorry, I, I'm trying to dig out this giant candle out of the bottom of my basket here. All right, this next one I finished off is one of the original three wicks from uh, Homeworks in Orchard Apples. This one was Juicy Apple, Applewood, Vetiver Grass, Succulent Cantaloupe, and Ripened Peach. This was just a straight up super bright Mac Apple, but you also got the cantaloupe in there. You could smell that cantaloupe melon note. This was super good. This scented up my entire upstairs. I, I have nothing bad to say about Homeworks, you guys. It is so rare that these candles do not perform for me. However, the scent works, even though it's by the same person, just don't. I feel like these are the budget candles. This crappy is up to say, and these are like the good high end. Granted, they are these are crazy expensive. That's probably why. But either way, love homeworks. Not gonna buy scent works. All right, I think I have one more candle to talk about. Right, I've been trying to burn through my candles, you guys. I have so many of them, and honestly, I prefer wax melts anyway. So I've been trying to really get through all of my candles, and it's working. Um, down in the bathroom downstairs, I have lemon mint leaf, which is from Bath and Body Works. Little mini jar, jar, jar. Sure. I just got a new accent. 
jar. These always burn really well. Like, I don't have a problem with them. I just don't smell them. This one was actually the strongest out of all the ones I've been burning lately in the bathrooms, but still, I wouldn't repurchase them. The only reason I even have these is because I got them at the semi-annual sale for, like, three bucks. If, if I can find them on sale like that, I will pick them up for the bathrooms, but, um, yeah. This one was good. It literally smelled like lemon and mint. Like, that's exactly what it smelled like. Great for the bathroom. And like I said, that one you could smell. All right, I think that's it for candles. Um, I did go through a lighter, one of these candle lighters. I don't know. Some people throw these into their um, empties. I don't know why, but I mean, oh, what the heck? I didn't go through it. Look, it doesn't work, but there's like half a thing full of fluid. What the heck? Oh, sure. Now it's working. Whatever. <laughs> okay. X and A on that, you guys. Uh, I did not go through a lighter. I was all excited. I thought I did. All right, I went through a Sensationals... Uh, 25 watt bulb pack. I go through these a lot. I have a lot of warmers, so I do go through these quite a bit, but there's that. Um, all right, I think we're down to bags and scent shots. Let's do scent shots first, like usual, clams and bags last, because they take up the least amount of space in my basket. So for clam shells, I uh, used up the rest of this tomato vine from Scentsy, the Bring Back My Bar. This smells literally, literally like a fresh tomato vine. That's exactly what it smells like. I love it for summertime. Um, yeah, I'll always repurchase that. It's in my Scentsy Club, so. I used up a scoop bowl in Honey Lavender Gelato Type. This is lavender with fresh violet, cool blackberries, raspberries, creamy vanilla, and warm honey from Scoopable Tart Wax, which is now Rose Girls. Oh, this smells so good. I usually don't like any of the notes in here, and I loved them all together very much. The strongest notes I get are honestly the blackberries um, and the raspberries. It's super fruity. Really good one. I use that in my bedroom. All right, I used up Jean, which is from Super Tarts, glazed donuts, pear, salted caramel, and pie crust. It was okay, not the strongest. Um, Super Tarts is kind of meh for me lately. I don't know, I don't know if it's just because they're older, <clears throat> but lately they are just not performing for me, and I don't know. I don't want to pass judgment just yet. I have a lot more I want to go through from Super Tarts before I decide whether I'm going to stop purchasing. There are some that are great from her, but I don't know. I, I've, I felt for a while that a lot of her blends just aren't my jam. Like, they're just uh, kind of weird to me. Like, the notes in them are weird. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Um, I used up Up North Creations Beach Bum. It's very similar to Copper Tone Suntan Lotion. This one was just like Copper Tone Suntan. I really liked it. Um, it was good. I had no problem with that. All right, I think that's actually it for clams. I did less clam shells and far more um, like scent shots and bags this week, a couple weeks. Oh, oh, I just dropped one. I'll get it after. <laughs> BZ Tarts, I used up Apple Harvest. This was beautiful. This was a great apple blend. It had a nice spice to it. It was great. I used it in the evening here. Um, like I said, I'm itching for fall, so I'm starting to delve into more apple for se uh, September. September and end of August are like my apple spot and then we'll move into like the pumpkin <laughs> and then it's all things pumpkin till christmas all right savannah blue you spin me right round this is a laundry blend i used my downstairs bathroom my master bathroom which is large so when i say the small bathroom i'm usually talking about upstairs and then the master bathroom is huge this smells like a really good laundry scent i really did like it a lot um it was decent her her laundry blends are good i usually don't like savannah blue they don't perform for me but her laundry stuff is actually good um garden dirt from the strange charm i wish i could smell this because i can't it, it's scentless like literally i put that in and i can't smell a damn thing even standing over the warmer so i'm not going to purchase from the strange charm anymore i have not had good luck with her stuff at all not even a single thing that i've melted i don't think that i remember savannah blue wipeout i get again another laundry blend i think i might have talked about this before i might have misplaced this this is like a really good beachy laundry and i'm kind of obsessed with it i super love it and i want more of it so i'm actually gonna move this to the side here where i can place another order for it um bz tarts mrs claus cookies this was delicious um i don't even know what it was you guys it was just the most delicious sweet bakery like oh it's so 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 good loved it super strong actually i would repurchase that one too i'm gonna put that to the side <laughs> i always make a little mark or like put a little thing in the and my two Mastiffs are having a howling contest. Fantastic. I'm gonna shut the door. <laughs> you guys, this happens like three times a day. I don't know if it's because they think I'm not home, or maybe they do this when I'm not home and they just believe that I'm not there, but um, I have an old English Mastiff and an Italian Mastiff, and they just have these constant like howling matches to see who's better at howling or something. I don't really know, but they sound ridiculous. 
All right, so then we have BZ Tarts Cactus and Sea Salt. I think I've talked about this before. I love this so much. It is a great, great, like salty, driftwoody, oceanic kind of scent. Um, really, really like it a lot. So that's gonna get put to the side as well. I used up Wild Mountain Honey from Sassy Girl Aroma in my bathroom. You guys, holy crap. If you like the scent of actual honey, like from the jar, like smelling real wildflower mountain honey, you need this. This is a monstrosity of a powerhouse. Like this thing took up, like, I probably melted this for three straight days because I couldn't take it out. It was so strong. Um, just, I mean, powerhouse to another level. Probably one of the strongest melts I've ever had in my entire existence. Crazy. Oh my God, if I drop one more thing. Ooh. All right, then I have BZ Tarts Passion Fruit. This one was okay, not my favorite. Passion Fruit's not my favorite anyway. His stuff is always good though. I will never say anything negative about BZ Tarts. He has really good wax um I thought I had another oh there we go um I used up orangina I think it's orangina 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 I don't know they both sound awful fresh squeezed orange juice and sparkling soda this is from golden willow waxes it was okay it was just a fizzy scent um geez, I used up sea sugar sweet potato fireplace banana and I don't know what rh and tm is but this smelled like a good banana just like whoa sorry it was like a really good like smoky banana if that makes any sense in the world really good though i usually don't like banana but i really liked that one all right i got like four more scent shots five more and then we're down to bags and then we're done hopefully I th actually you know what i lied to you but i'm not going down there to get them right now i do have some melts empty in my bedroom um but that'll be for the next set because i am not running downstairs right now ain't no way i'm not prepared today at all and i'm fine with it things happen you guys can see it next week uh, Birdie's Making Sense Zen, Sweet Orange, Tangerine Zest, Cucumber Water, Hoya Leaves, Wild Ivory, Aloe, Violet Stem, Sandalwood, and Crushed Sage. Holy buckets. This was really good. It was actually really nice. I can't even pinpoint exactly what I was smelling. It's a very fresh, like, just clean, uh, re like, relaxing scent, if that makes sense. I did really, I did really like it. Um, I used up Sea Sugar Cotton Candy Birthday Cake. I love this one so much. Mm, it is the most authentic birthday cake like ever it's so 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 good um i used up golden willow wax as pear sugar pop which is lemon sugar pear and fizzy pop like i said just a basic fizzy scent um i have a lot of her fizzy stuff i'm trying to get through and then i also used up a fizzing wisby from golden willow this is blackberry burst fizzy pop and green apple same thing just they perform great there's nothing wrong with them it's just i've heard not so great things about her customer service i got these in a d-stash Sassy Aroma Granny Smith type. This is great. Powerhouse. Holy crap. Strong. Really good green apple scent. Like, it's not, it's not a fake green apple. It smells like an apple on, like, a leaf. Like, green apple. Realistic apple. Uh, made to Melt Summer Linen. Love this one. Love it a lot. It's a fantastic, fresh, like, this literally smells like my grandparents' house when they would put laundry on the line and bring it in. That's exactly what it smelled like after the sun would hit it. And you guys who have clotheslines or homestead or whatever totally understand what i'm saying when i say that this, the clothes that go out on a line smell totally different than the ones that come from the dryer that's a line dried crisp linen i don't know why my nose is all weird um downy blue from l3 uh this literally smells like downy blue <laughs> it was a good one it performed really well downy isn't my favorite so i wouldn't repurchase like downy specifically but i do get it in blends all the time so i really don't care um, I went through a Birdie's Making Sense apple fritter. This was yum, super yum. Um, it smelled just like an apple fritter. It was a good bakery. Apple pie crusty scent. Really liked it. Um, this was a sample of fresh sweet strawberry from Pink Zebra. I got this from my friend Lisa. This smells insane. I think this is the one that got discontinued. Um, this is really good. One of the only ones I would actually purchase from Pink Zebra. Pink Zebra is an MLM company, so I'm I'm not usually an MLM person. Since he's the uh, exemption to that, but Celebration Cake also from Pink Zebra. This was really good. I mixed these. I melted both of these at the same time. The cake and the strawberries, and it was it was incredible. It smelled so good in here. I used up on the waterfront from Vintage Chic Sense. This is a beautiful, beautiful outdoorsy like summery oceanic blend oh it was so pretty um really really liked it and it was really strong it worked great i for some reason vintage chic when i first moved in like i thought it didn't work for me at all and i hated it and now like everything's working for me it's really weird i don't know what happened but 
carnival cake from Ashes. I just used this up this morning. Uh, funnel cake, birthday cake, cotton candy, frosted cake, and carnival candy. This lasted for just a few minutes and had really weird undertones, so I wouldn't repurchase it. I don't like it. This is used up in my son's room. This is spider cider. It was like a nice apple cider from um, Old Primitive Treasures. I don't think they're around anymore. I'm not sure. Either way, that was super, super old. It wasn't stored properly. Um, it had a hint of a scent, which was perfect for his room, but it wasn't anything I would go out of my way to find. Right. And then we have Lavender Fabuloso from Made to Melt. Um, this was really good too, used in the bathroom. It smelled exactly like Lavender Fabuloso, not my thing. I wouldn't repurchase that particular scent, but her stuff always performs well for me. Finally used up my Sniff My Tarts Gourmet Sugar Cookie Peppermint Marshmallow Noel and Candy um, in my room. This was really, really good. This is always super strong. I love Sniff My Tarts quite a bit. They perform very, very well for me. Strawberry Pound Cake Zucchini from Candles from the Keeping Room. This was absolute divinity. It was delicious. I loved it. Would repurchase it. I used Fangirl Wax Edible Pink Undies. I really don't remember what this smelled like. It mixed. I mixed it with a bunch of other things, like in different warmers, but... This has, like, some kind of perfumey... I don't even know. It's like a, a creamy, perfumey blend. I used up vanilla coconut sugar spun suds in my room. Fresh laundry blended with sweet spun sugar, vanilla coconut, and fluffy marshmallows. I love this one very much. It is so good. <laughs> it's sweet. It's laundry. It's perfect. I really wish I knew what this was because I loved it. It was an apple blend. They were just two like really thin skinny bunts. Like you can see like the outline of it. I have no idea who they're by. There's no labeling. They're in a resaleable package. I have no clue. It was delicious. Very soft wax. Almost to the point of being like scoopable soft, but not. Uh, a Misfit. This is like a, just an overpour extra from Up North Creations that she does when she's doing like customs. She'll just pour extras into little sample sizes. So I don't know what this was. I used it in the bathroom. Desert Jewel, which was lemon mint leaf rainbow sherbet cactus sea salt from Empire Alchemy. I used this at work at my desk. It was really nice. Um, oddly enough, I really, really liked it. Didn't think I was going to. Wasn't very strong, but Empire Alchemy usually isn't. Um, another Misfit. So that was a fresh scent for up north creations there's gonna be a few misfits you're gonna you guys are in the future are gonna see a lot of those i use them in the bathrooms because they're just kind of quick one and dones and i don't have to worry about what they are so i don't really have to track how they perform because it doesn't really matter uh fourth of july from the bunny sisters this was a really great bakery blend of some kind it didn't have notes i'm not sure so but it smelled really good jim's daughter spiced apple cider a blend of spicy cinnamon mold apple cider and sweet brown sugar this is really good i mix this with that um birdies making sense apple fritter Amaretto from L3. This was a great like cherry liqueur scent. Um, I think I mixed that with, I don't remember, honestly. I think a carnival blend, actually with this. Um, Hayden Rowe Carnival, just like you'd picture, apples, caramel, popcorn, whatever. I mix those together. Um, another Misfit, it's a leather blend that I used in the bedroom. Um, the Bunny Sisters Goosebumps. This was another really good bakery scent. I don't remember what the notes were or anything, but I used it with the carnival stuff. Fizzy Pop from Hayden Row. Nice fizzy blend. I have way too many fizzies and I'm starting to get burnt out on it, so. Uh, Jack's Teller from Closet Full of Wax. This was pear, champagne toast, and black lace. I used this in the bathroom. It was good. And just a few more here and we're done. I have a hidden clam I didn't know I had. Fantastic. Um, okay, banana nut bread from Sensi. This is really good, however, it didn't last very long, which shocked me because I remember it lasting a really long time, but this time it did not. Rudolph's Nose Guide Santa's Sleigh Ride. I think this was a cherry blend. What was this? This might have been my, I think this was in my son's room. I don't know because it's scentless. This was from L3 Waxy Wonders, one of her advent calendars from a couple years ago, or last year, I forget. Might have been last year. Orchard by the Sea from Vintage Road Candles. This was really good. Salty Sea Breeze Macintosh Apple Sweet Tobacco Creme Brulee. It was just really fresh, like apple scent. Lemon Curd from Old Primitive Treasures. Uh, this was good. I it, it, it wasn't performing well. Like I said, these weren't stored properly. All my Old Primitive were from a D-Stash, um, and they didn't store them right, and they were very, very old. So, Sassy Aroma Henson Mac Apple Caramel Marshmallow. This was great. And last but not least, Casper, which was... Oh my God, hold on a second. Casper is toasted marshmallows. I don't, I can't read the rest of it. Vanilla bean Noel, maybe, and cornbread or something like that. It's a really good blender. Um, I really like Casper. So that is it, you guys. That is all the things that I went through. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the close-up shot of this random bag. 
<laughs> like I said, my channel is going to be taking a super good turn. I'm really excited about it, you guys. I have so many videos that I think you guys are going to absolutely adore. Um, I just thought about the way the world is and how everybody's kind of trying to save money here and there. And, you know, people who have kids don't know how to do that. Or, you know, how do you keep up with having so many kids? You guys, I have five kids, three dogs, a cat, a snake. Um, sorry. I have five kids. There's also another teenager living here with us, plus my three dogs, my cat, my snake. And I also have a garden. I um, can. I cook every single night if I can. I work a full-time job overnight as a police officer. You guys, if you have any questions on families and how to maintain and keep up with life, I got you. And that's what we're going to be doing. So I hope you're all as excited as I am for all these different changes to my channel. And I hope you guys stick around. Also, yes, beauty is coming back. It is coming back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you on the next video. Bye.